hello welcome back again to Siemens NX tutorial so in this session I would like to explain about the tools is called a uh, variational sweep uh, so the end result will be like this so this tool variational sweep tool is very useful if you want to create a muffler a design uh, or maybe the other parts like a cabling maybe some kind of tubing so let's go let's start we'll see in here this is the original original start files you can see there are flank in here and also there are flank in here you can create both flank and you can create sketch between flank and you can use a spline so you can make it smooth something like this okay you can make it smooth this one click OK now I will start using this variational sweep now you can see in here the it needs input a curve so I will select the curve and next automatically go to sketching environment and here you can see the uh, percentage of the arc length are going to be used this blue dot if I move it drag it this is the zero location and this on the bottom is 100% arc length location so in the beginning I will start in the zero percent arc length location to make a sketch I click OK go to circle I will enter maybe 30 millimeters in di 30 millimeters in diameter and then click offset curve 2 millimeters outside click OK so this is gonna be the the cross section for the whole curve okay now I want to change the cross section so I will go back again and add new set when I click add new set the NX automatically create the second uh, section one datum for your sketch but the sketch already uh, derived from the initial sketch if I click start section this is the start section and section section one the active section will be highlighted and the uh, dimension color will be in in black you can click that and change this a little bit to the 2.5 and you can place the sketch position maybe 25% from the beginning okay and click okay you can see you can see this changed a little bit so I'm going to create on the location 50% and 75% this is the location at 50% of the length and the diameter I will insert maybe 35 and I will create also the third location section 3 the placement is 75 percent the value to the 7.5 diameter now the latest one need to be changed in order to create smooth shape then section the diameter gonna be 40 click OK so it will automatically update it now the curve is still not yet smooth so I will go back again to sketch I will reorientation the curve Let's make it perpendicular to the flank click finish it's a lot, lot better okay so this is all uh, three the object first second and third now the next step is I want to make a hole in here and also in here by using the trim body the target one and tool option I will select the inside face in here so it will make hole apply 
and then I will make also hole in here select this inner face it create hole click OK now the next step I can unite unite all click one two and three now so this is one a solid body if I want to check it is it solid body or not I can use edit section you can see here a solid body maybe I can rotate now this section a lot, lot better you can see this a solid body okay now after this I want to make 2d a drafting for this uh, view perhaps before I starting it will be better I hide all the curve sketches okay and then I go to application drafting create new sheet okay I will use a standard size a zero scale one by one sheet number number one the units in millimeters and using the third angle projection click OK by the default the NX will be start using view creation wizard but unfortunately sometimes the layout is not good so I will not use this one I will use the other tool it, it's called base view base view I can uh, customize uh, whatever uh, I want by using this in here model view or in view tool like this one I click this one and I push function 8 on my keyboard it automatically align click OK now uh, if you want to insert object into this one but you want to add the center line later you can click this setting go to general and you uncheck this one click OK the first position is in here front view the, the side view and the top view ok click close now I want to insert also the the uh, isometric view I go back again to base view click orient view tool like this one maybe this a lot better okay click OK click this one click close now in here I want to make a shading view not a 2d view like this just click this object or maybe you can select from here and right click go into setting go to here shading fully shaded click OK it's shading view now as you can see here there's a box actually this box is just to make you easy to, to select but it will not it will not affect when you print this um, 2d drafting but if you don't like this box object you can go to menu preferences drafting go to view workflow and border display you can uncheck this one so there's no more box but this box is just only for make it easier to uh, select the object for example like this one okay okay now the next step I want to create the center line for all of this in NX available is to the center line so I can using from curves side 1 side 2 is automatically create center line okay or maybe you can set the extension individually is it's also can be done if you think that the center line is too long with 2.5 the color style ok 
okay click okay okay maybe you can change it a little bit from here about preferences the center line I think is too thick okay maybe we can change that later a bit so next I'm gonna show you first after we create the center line this you also can create center line for this using 2d center line from curves from curves this one is center line click OK and for this baby it's gonna be a little bit uh, difficult to create it because if I click this it's automatically select both uh, surface so it cannot be done like this so I reset so using by points center points into center points oh, sorry center points two center points this one click OK you can see it's a little bit uh, a difference maybe I can change a little bit but I will do it later I go this one and next also provide 3d center line so in here we just only need to click the object like this and then set the extension individually if you think it's too long okay click OK now to make a projection for this flank and this flank you can go back to a base view click this and then use this one explain normal you repositioning again the best fit you click this one okay click okay and then put this here okay we close again and then we open again using a base view the position for example this go to the selection click OK so in here after that you can create a dimension from here to here so it's gonna be easier for you to show the length dimension all the profile something like that okay now you don't need to show this one right so you can go to if you break you can use single sided you click the view and then specify anchor point the anchor where you, do, you cut the first Okay, and then the direction you're gonna hide that is from here to here you click OK so it can be cut like this okay that's it and now maybe I'm gonna try a little bit to change this because it's quite thick maybe I can click this one setting using inherit preferences like that object okay now it changed a little bit smoother I can do the same thing for this and this click no. click center line using inherit selected object close so for example if you have a good uh, setting for one a dimension maybe the other dimension looks not good you can using inherit option to make it good okay and that's it thank you for watching see you on the next video